What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. <sighs> Hi. <sighs> Today's video, it's a little heavy. It's something I never thought I would be sitting in front of a camera and talking about, but I think this is definitely a new chapter for me in my life and I would love to share some more things and maybe there are people out there that have similar problems or similar medical conditions as the one I am about to reveal. You saw the thumbnail, that's real footage and you are about to see some very graphic content, not blood, no cutting, nothing crazy like that, but there are some graphic scenes of me in the hospital room being put under anesthesia. I look very disturbed for a minute. It's very weird. Um, there's a lot happening. So if you are uh, bothered by medical stuff, I'm just warning you now, there will be um, that type of footage throughout this video. So today we're going to be talking about a very dark medical secret that I've had for a while. Um, we're talking since I was six years old, I first noticed this problem. I had no idea what it was at the time, obviously, at such a young age, but we know when you like have been embarrassed by something your whole life, you've had something a secret forever, you've never told a stranger, you're like family, your mom's really the only one that knows. That's what this is. And once you find out what it is, you may think it's nothing. You may be like, oh, that's, that's whatever. To me, it's been something that has hindered my life, it's something that has haunted me, and it involves chewing, it involves swallowing, um, and it involves my esophagus. So recently, me and my assistant Madison went for a crazy procedure where we had our esophaguses dilated and widened to help with a problem we have. Now, if you're probably like, what the f are you guys talking about? We have a condition that is really hard to pronounce. It is a tongue twister. It is called eosinophilic esophagitis, okay? Bitch, that is a tongue twister. So I'm gonna pull up the definition now. The doctor will be on camera shortly in the operating room, but basically I have a condition where I have problems swallowing food. Now, let me just get the dick sucking jokes out the way. Bitch, I can take an 11 inch down this throat. Now, my swallowing Right here is not the problem. My throat is good, honey. I actually don't even have a gag reflex. I cannot make myself throw up. I haven't thrown up in years except one time in Hawaii a few years ago. Never again. I can take my finger. I don't choke. I don't make any noise. Nothing bothers me, right? <laughs> yes, that's why Nathan's here. Um, but all sexual jokes aside, there is something severely wrong with my esophagus, which is way lower right here. I'm gonna pull up the definition, and on Google it says that it is a allergic inflammatory condition of the esophagus that involves eosinophils, a type of white blood cell. Symptoms are swallowing difficulty, hi. Food impaction, oof, remember that. Vomiting, not me, thank God, and heartburn, definitely experienced that. How do you treat it? There's really not, there's no cure, okay? So I have to live with this for the rest of my life. Now, a lot of you are probably like, what does all this really mean? Basically, when I was six years old, it was the first time I choked on a piece of food. Like, actually choked where I couldn't breathe and it was like, it was like right here. And I'll never forget that fear, that panic, even though it was so long ago, I will never forget the fear of almost choking to death. Now, thank God in Orange County, the fire department was down the street. They saved my life. Um, I've never eaten a piece of steak since then. Um, it's not, that's crazy, right? I just have this fear. Any food that I've ever had an issue with, I've never eaten again. It's very scary. So if I don't chew my food correctly, it gets stuck. Now, when I was six years old, that incident, I actually choked. Ever since then, I've had about eight or nine times throughout my life, um, recently, two years ago, where I will get food stuck. Now, it's a very bizarre situation because I'm not choking, right? I'm not like, <gasps> it gets stuck where I can't even swallow my own saliva, which is obviously horrifying. Um, it happens when I'm very stressed out. It happens if I don't chew correctly and I'm just like talking and overthinking um, and the food gets stuck. And what do you have to do? You have to go to the emergency room. You have to get the food knocked down. You gotta be put under or you have to have it removed. I've had scenarios where the doctor kept me awake and they took a clear tube and ice water and shoved it down my throat and knocked the food out and pulled it out and there was like a mushroom. I've been put under where they've had to, had a gastro surgeon come in and remove the food. So this is something that has haunted me my entire life. Until about five years ago, I kind of 
didn't acknowledge it. It's, it was just something that happened to me and I didn't want to really talk about it. But five years ago, it was really bad. And I was on a photo shoot. I was in Wisconsin on set, actually, shooting the single for Love to My Cobain, my last single um, I ever wrote. And I got food stuck and it was so bad and so scary. I said, I have to find someone who could help me. So after some extensive research on this condition, I Googled it. I found people that had similar situations and who, and, and if you've watched uh, my video about my mother recently, she has the same condition. Didn't know that. It's like insane. So I find Dr. Edward Scher and I see him. I have a visit. I have a consultation. I even set up an appointment to get this operation done that I'm about to show you. And I bitched out. I didn't do it. I got scared. It wasn't the right timing. I kept putting it off. I changed the appointment. And five more years went by. A lot of it had to do with my teeth. So if you don't know, I've had my whole mouth restored. Prior to that, my back teeth were really bad, okay? So this wasn't just about cosmetics or being insecure. It also hindered me and made my life worse because normal people's teeth, obviously you bite down and your teeth hit perfectly. Mine was like this where I could barely chew my food correctly because my teeth were inverted. I'm gonna do a whole teeth story one day because I wanna show you guys the before and afters and what's what really happened because it was a hellacious journey. So it has been such a battle. Um, I love eating, I eat all the time. You guys know I have a very fast metabolism. So I do eat all the time. I just have to chew five times more than the average person. So if you're ever around me or you ever see me, bitch, Everyone's meal's done and I'm like halfway done. Something bad happened a few months ago. I was eating a hot dog on a bun and the bun was dry. I had eaten all um, that morning. I had filmed something and was like, yay, we're gonna go to a barbecue. And I went to my friend's house and I literally was in the house for two minutes. Chewed, stuck. And normally I have to go to the hospital, but for a few hours I let myself sit and relax and it's still stuck. I was panicking. I'm like, Maddie, I don't know what to do. I need to go to the hospital. And then I was like, I'm just so tired. Like, sometimes, I know it sounds so dumb, but I was like so tired, I didn't want to go to the hospital for the first time. So another six hours went by. Girl, took a few hits. I relaxed. I was in bed in one position for hours, like sitting up, like, and the bread finally shifted, and I'll never forget that fear melting away and the food went down. And I was like, oh my God, I cannot believe it went down. And I was so scared of it happening again. The next day, I went to the doctor and I made another appointment, went back to Dr. Cher. And in the midst of all this, I find out that my assistant Madison has the same condition. Now, what are the odds? We're all from Orange County. Something's in the water, Huntington Beach. I want the mayor to call me. So my mom has this problem, I have this problem. Now this person that has entered my life has the same problem and it's like, whoa, it's so weird. So she, she goes, Maddie goes, I've had the surgery once. So it's not a surgery, it's like, you'll, you'll see what it is. It's, it's not cutting, it's not blood, but it's widening, it's dilating. So Maddie had this operation done once and they, it helped, it dilated her, but it's been years. Now, here's the thing, there's no cure, your throat, a neuroesophagus will shrink back, you know, naturally. Some people it's quick, some people it takes years, who knows? So she's felt herself a little weird. So I'm like, you know what? We're pulling the double, girl. What'd you say earlier, Christian? <laughs> Two holes for the price of one. <laughs> Fuck, man. You gotta laugh during a serious video, you guys. Life's dark. I'm like, I have to laugh at my own condition. What am I gonna do? Cry every night? So, two holes for the price of one. I said, you know what? Let's both, let's do a double widening. All right, now I'm gonna take you into the hospital room and you guys are about to see what went down. All right, you guys, so I am about to get my esophagus widened. I know, this is the craziest thing ever. So we got the Blenziagas here and we gotta put on our scrub. So everything's gonna go in there. And this, bam. And maybe some of you out there are going, are you nervous? Honestly, I'm ready, I'm not. I'm ready to get this issue handled and taken care of. It's definitely been a long time coming. I should have had Gucci make me a gown. I'm, I'm embarrassing myself. Go ahead and open and close a few times for me. Open, close, open, close. Good. Okay. How did it go last night? It was a long evening. What happened last night? Oh, it's working. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna dilate today yeah. then? Oh, we've never done it before. Right. So he's definitely set his time. And he'll give you more information about what he finds there after he takes a look too. Okay, we'll get it all fixed for you today. Yeah. So you know what we're gonna do? Sedate you. You're gonna be breathing on your own. Yeah. Not that I want to see you. We'll take a look down there. I'm expecting to find some narrowing, mm -hmm. some significant 
thickening of the mucosa would yeah. uh, gently dilate it, uh, biopsy it, and then we decide what to do in the future. Okay. We may decide to use some swallowed steroids if we need to, yeah. or this may take you for the next, you know, year or two or three or whatever. Okay, great. All right, ready? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Daisy's like, what the hell is going on around here? I know. <laughs> Although we charge $2.50. That's right. It's right. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, you guys, I am about to be put under. We're gonna do some heavy twilight sleep and I'm gonna be uh, passed out. I don't think anyone's ever seen me passed out on this channel before, so it's about to get interesting. Yeah, nice and quiet. Yeah, you like it. Oh, yeah, great. You ready to party? Yeah. Got some drugs? A little bit. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I feel like we're in Wolf of Wall Street with this song on. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Come on your side. Line on your left me. side. Okay. Belly button that way. Okay. Teeth on it. The longest medicine should work very fast. Yeah. 15, 30 seconds. You're going to be kind of like, hey, this is nice, but... 30 seconds, over. Chris. All right. Okay, good. Um, this is your the mouthpiece, okay? Okay, all okay, right, right Chris. Have... Here we go. Oh wow, it already happened. Oh god. Uh huh. Uh huh. You are now under. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. That is a little hard to watch. Seeing yourself go under, the eyes rolling back in my head, it was very disturbing the first time um, that Chris played it for me. I was like, whoa, that is so, obviously I'm under, I have no idea what went down. So you may wonder, Jeffrey, why didn't you show more? So, I guess while I was under, my esophagus was so narrow, the camera and the equipment was really irritating me. So I was kind of like, what were you saying, Christian? Like I was- You were coughing and sneezing? Yeah, so it's was imagine you're, you're under and your body is coughing and sneezing. So they didn't want me to show it looked like I was having a seizure or anything because there was nothing wrong with me. I'm medically completely fine. And there was a tube down the throat, so it looked extra it, it looked, yeah, it looked probably crazy. So they're probably like girl cut. So they uh, asked Christian to leave for a minute so they could finish the um, procedure, obviously. And then after mine, they did Madison's right away. So we, first of all, what do you guys think about all this? What do you think about the footage you just watched? Um, does it creep any of you out? It creeped me out for real. But I wanted to share this because I don't know if there are more of you out there that have this issue or maybe you just might learn something new. And I just kind of wanted to share things that I'm afraid to talk about and I wanted to challenge myself. So this is really why I made this video. Um, now, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're about to have some laughs because this is kind of like a, a long blooper about to happen, but there is footage I forgot existed <laughs> where me and Madison come out of anesthesia and, well, let me, let me bring Maddie in here. We're gonna watch this for the first time. So she doesn't know this, but um, she's coming over right now. I had her come over here and I said, hey, we're about to, play something funny. Now we've done this procedure a few weeks ago. She doesn't know what's about to happen, so be right back. Hi girl. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so Madison is usually behind the scenes, but she's my personal assistant and she travels everywhere with me. And you also have... Eosinophilic esophagitis. Bam. 
It's a tongue twister. It's a tongue twister. Now, when we both bonded over that, how do you bond over like a throat remission? What are remission? the odds? What are the odds? So, <laughs> you had the procedure done once. Yeah, like four, almost five years ago, and you, they were able to widen it a little bit, but they okay. told me, you know, as the years go by, you're, gonna you're probably going to tighten up again, so you're going to want to do it probably one, maybe two more times over the next, like, ten years, so. Sounds like my um, vagoplasty. <laughs> Vaginal rejuvenation, right? Yep. Um, yeah. So I was skeptical, but it actually worked for her. So I said, you know what? Great. But it's been it was years for you. Mm -hmm. So you're ready for round two. I was ready. And ready was for another widening. The perfect time. Uh, you haven't even seen the footage from me being put no. under yet, but mm -hmm. I do want to show you us coming out of anesthesia. Okay. Um, we're gonna watch. <laughs> I'm so scared. I've watched a clip of this, and I was like, oh my god! But I didn't. I've never seen it edited right here in our faces. So. We're gonna see us both coming out of anesthesia, and right. let's do it. I don't remember anything really. I don't, I don't. I don't. How did we get home? Did we Uber or did? Oh, you drove us? I, yeah, I drove you guys yeah. back. You I'm were laid out in the back seat, and I was in the front because you were. You went under. They had you under longer. Because oh, let's talk so about bad. this. Oh my God, I had more anesthesia as mm -hmm. well. Um, so you were like way more groggy than I was? Cause mine was like, I think mine was like 20 minutes. So it was like super quick. Oh my God. And yours was over about like 30. Mm. And so you were much more out of it than I was. So when we got in the car, you're like, I just need to lay down. And you just laid flat in the back seat. <laughs> Is this what it's like to black out while drinking or no? Yeah, kinda. Woof. Fuck, y'all yeah. are crazy. <laughs> um, I slept in the back of your car? Yeah, I drove you guys down and I'm back. Um, okay, um, we're just gonna click play. We're just gonna dive into it. We're turning up the volume and uh, here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Jeffrey! Oh, he's still out. Okay, can you give me uh, more on this? I got you, dude. And you break all the pizza. How you oh, feeling, good man? morning. Oh, yeah, this uh, it's like I got to take 10 hits to weed. <laughs> Fucking rough, man. How was it? It was good. It was a while to watch. Yeah, it was crazy. <coughs> Still coughing. Hey. Hey. It was the doctor. So I feel like. Oh my god! I was done. Hold on. Pausing. Pausing. Oh. Wow. I just flopped right back over. You're like, I was, I'm dumb. You're on dumb. So I must have <laughs> fell back asleep, right, Chris? Or no? Yeah, you kept knocking back out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Body's got pictures and all that stuff. Okay. So. I feel barely sore. I feel good. Feeling good? Good. Good. All righty. Oh my god, my eyes. Is that hurt? Is that hurt? I was like, damn, how's she awake? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh boy. Oh, there she Oh! So glad, right? Whoa, wait, 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 wait! What the? <laughs> Are you having any chest discomfort there, Jeffrey? Huh? Are you having any chest discomfort there? You okay? <laughs> Good. It feels the tiny sore like I was screaming, but it feels your pain. <laughs> no, you were screaming. You were out. Oh, yeah. You were totally out. Oh. I'm oh. ready to fucking blend. I'm ready to get up and slay a review, man. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get ready on my poker ball. Oh, oh my god. god! I need help. Where's the star mirror? Let's do this. <laughs> I feel like I just got like. Take this out of my nose. I want to take this out of my nose. It's still so sleeping. Sleepy. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now, but I do know I feel good. Tiny bit sore, no craziness. Oh my god. Yeah. I like I need cold stone now. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I want the IVs go in. Pump me full of <laughs> medicine. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> I think you got a little bit more. 
<laughs> the doctor said, what what first meal do you want? I want Nathan's ass, okay? It may not be a lot of calories, but fuck. Bitch, I want to go to Red Robin. I want to go to Chili's. I want to go to Waffle House. I want to go to Crabber, crack, Crapper Barrel. <laughs> Cracker Barrel? Cracker Barrel, I need you, bitch. I know you're all under religion and hate me, but I need your pancakes, okay? <laughs> what y'all doing, girl? Like the worst I've ever seen. Holy <laughs> man! And I, and so, so dark. Two areas that are pretty darn tight. Okay. Up here and in the middle. Yeah. I dilated very, very carefully. Okay. I could not get the scope through into the stomach. Wow. Is that the scope rare? Scope is about 11 millimeters in diameter. Well, usually, in such a situation, I can dilate enough to get the scope through. But I was being very extra special careful. Okay. As I mentioned, not too little, not too much, yeah. just enough. So I'm not sure how much detail you want, but um, I dilated until I got a so-called dilation effect. Okay. Meaning it will tear the mucosa. And uh, we need to come back and do a little bit more. Okay. I think... Swallowed steroids, like we talked about in the office, would, benefit would, be, a, me. would be a good plan. Okay. Um, wow. Let's and do it. That was hers, not too bad. Oh, she was a piece of cake. Wow. <laughs> so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> Big cake. Okay. Straight for some That was hilarious. Cake. Yeah. She doesn't want to get married, but she's thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm dumb. laughs> <laughs> I'm not really into older older men, but he was in my throat and we're not dating. I'm like, woo. New experiences. It's all about first times. <laughs> wow. I don't that remember was, half of that. I don't remember any of that. That is such that is so weird to see. I am like fully on another planet. I don't really oh, yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember, I remember like one sentence I said, I think, like about eating. Everything else, a full blur, a full blank. Wow. God, the human brain is weird. Um, how did you, how do you feel seeing yourself like that? I, I think if I would have seen myself how you saw yourself, I'd be even oh, like more creeped under? out. Oh, yeah, 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 full under. That is really hilarious to me. Because I don't remember, I thought everything was so funny. Uh, I, okay, so... As you guys saw, he said that mine, so yours wasn't as narrow, obviously. Yours no, is, it, yours is, yeah, she's had it before. And then he dilated her even wider, which is amazing. Have you had any problems since? Not no. anything major, no. Just like normal normal heartburn, which is yeah. part of this um, condition. Now, you guys saw him say that he could even fit the scope down where they could normally do it in someone's, like, what, chest kind of area? Yeah, it's like right here. Couldn't do it. And I was like, whoa. When he said one of mine was the worst ever, I was just like, great. But hey, if this is what's wrong with me, you gotta deal with it. So since then, I have been on the steroid medication. It has helped. I have had no uh, choking or weird swallowing issues. I've had one instance where I maybe felt a little weird, but I was like, nothing like, oh my God, I'm freaking Think out. Yeah. yeah. And everything's been fine. Now, what did the doctor say that I have to do? Go back. Yeah. They want me to go back. So they want to try again in a few months. If I'm up for it, I don't know. I'm always very scared about being put under. I kind of have like a, I don't care, but I do care type of thing in <laughs> yeah. my head. No, like, it's scary. You just never know what can go wrong. Um, that's the scary part. Mm -hmm. So I rarely do those things, but I really wanted to get this procedure done. I'm so glad we did it together. I never knew I'd bond over a, <laughs> something like this before. So are you glad you did it? Yes, thank you so much. Of course, that 100%. That was so helpful. Um, and I am so happy I did it finally. I think it was long overdue and I'm glad yes. I got over the fear. What do you guys think of all this? I wanna, I wanna hear what they have to say. Me too. <laughs> Let us know your thoughts, your, your prayers. And um, yeah, thank you for joining us on this weird, crazy <laughs> medical secret journey. If you're ever sad or depressed, <laughs> rewind the part where I get put under. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Mwah. Bye.